Did you know that about one and a half million people visit nudist resorts every year? If you're one of them or thinking about joining the fun, packing for a nudist vacation can be a bit tricky. What do you bring when leaving your clothes behind is the norm? Well, let's dive into that. But first, if you like what you see on this channel, I would invite you to like and subscribe. It's free for you, helps the channel more than you'll ever know. Today we're talking about nudist resorts and the unique packing considerations that come along with it. If you're new to nudism or planning your first trip, this ultimate packing guide will help you feel prepared and confident. So let's get started. Well now, packing for a nudist resort can pose some real challenges. First off, you might be wondering what the heck you should be bringing. You might think that you only need to bring a hat and a sunscreen. Is that right? Well, yes it is. And no it's not. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Sure, you might think you won't need a suitcase full of clothes, but what about the essentials? Many people struggle with the idea of choosing the right items. Some might worry about what to wear, while others fret over, you know, things like personal hygiene products, uh, toiletries, things like that. Plus, if you're not used to being nude around others, the whole experience can feel a little bit overwhelming, and that does not pl help the planning process. So it's important to plan ahead pack wisely to ensure your time at the resort is comfortable and enjoyable. Let's explore the key items you're going to want to pack. First, let's talk about clothing alternatives. Lightweight cover-ups, sarongs, you know, things like that can be real handy for walking around the resort, you know, being poolside or, or heading to the restaurant. And don't forget your swimwear. While nudism is about being nude, some places require a swimsuit in certain areas, so, you know, you might want to check ahead. Also, many places will require some sort of cover-up for meal service or require you to be fully dressed for dinner, such as on like a cruise main dining room. A good pair of shoes is also important. You can add sandals or water shoes to this part of the list as, as, as well. It gets you back and forth from the pool or the beach or, or anything else like that. There are opportunities to take walks on the beach and trails and you want to make sure you protect your tootsies. Next up is sun protection. Sunscreen is a must. You're going to be exposed, so make sure to bring a good SPF to protect your skin. Be especially careful with those bits that don't see the sun very often, right? Uh, a wide-brimmed hat and sunglasses can also help keep you safe from those harsh rays. Personal hygiene products are crucial too. For a quick refreshing, you can bring along biodegradable wet wipes, make sure you have good deodorant, and of course your favorite toiletries. Mine happens to include a portable bidet. And just a heads up, there's a common misconception about nudism. It's not about flaunting your body. It's really about body positivity and feeling free in your own skin. So with that said, be aware, many nudist venues are adamantly against any form of lingerie or other sexually suggestive clothing. Also, a lot of venues will have some sort of theme nights. These can be dressy affairs or just something to wear some accents to, to, to like suggest a costume. Whether you go all out or minimalistic is totally up to you, but the more costumes you bring, the bigger your packing will be. Try to make some items multitaskers so they can be used more than one outfit and save you a little bit of space. And you might also think about bringing some rain protection, be it an umbrella, a poncho, or a jacket. While the rain may not be as big an issue in the buff, sometimes that rain can be cold. Or you might just not want to be wet all the time. A rain jacket can also help if you encounter cool evenings where you need just a little bit of cover. We call that multitasking. Now let's highlight the most crucial packing tips. First and foremost, lightweight, quick drying fabrics are your best friends. Think about breathable materials that will help keep you comfortable in the sun. A beach towel or a blanket is another necessity that will give you like a comfy spot to set on and help you feel at ease while lounging by the pool or on the beach. I use this little monkey mat for trips to the beach. It unfolds to a very large nylon ground sheet and it folds up very small for packing. And speaking of towels, never be without yours. Your bare dairy air should never come in contact with anything other than your towel in a nudist venue. Well, with the exception of maybe, you know, side of a pool or a hot tub. And don't forget to pack items to enhance your day trips or excursions. For example, I like to take my own snorkeling gear as I have a prescription mask and fins that actually fit my big feet. A towel band is another handy piece of kit to keep your towel in place on a pool chair. They're much smaller than towel clips and work well to keep your towel secure in case of wind. 
Uh, feel free to bring a camera to document parts of your trip, but be aware that photography is almost universally forbidden in any nudist venue. You might contact the staff and get their guidance on what you can photograph or not, or get them to escort you, or even have them take the shots for you to ensure your pics don't you know, include something they're not supposed to. Also, don't forget a reusable water bottle to stay hydrated. It's important to keep sipping throughout the day you know, you have a lot of body area exposed to lose water, so it's important to put it back. In my choice, I like to bring an insulated travel mug for water and other drinks so you can keep your libations cold that much longer. Mm -hmm. Lastly, consider bringing a small backpack or a fanny pack to carry around your essentials you know, when you're going around the resort or on your little day trips. You have to figure out some way to carry stuff without pockets, and these work great. Uh, this way you got everything you need right there and, and you're not having to carry a giant bag around with you. You can bring elastic arm lanyards or, or the kind that go around your neck and you can use that to carry your IDs, credit cards, you know, things like that, room keys, very handy. So to wrap it all up, remember to pack lightweight clothing alternatives, sun protection, personal hygiene products, rain gear, a beach towel, and a water bottle or a travel mug. These essentials will definitely enhance your experience at nudist resorts, making you feel comfortable and ready to enjoy every moment. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What are your own packing tips for nudist resorts? Drop them in the comments below. And if you're interested in more content about nudism or travel, don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And don't forget the sunscreen.